Hello crafty family and welcome to part two of my Dollar Tree hacks and ideas video by She's So Crafty. Now I first must apologize for my voice today. I am recovering from being sick, but we're all going to get through this together. Now in this video, I will be walking through the Dollar Tree sharing with you on the spot what I have made with all of my finds. Now this video will give you lots of ideas to keep in mind when you head out on your trip to Dollar Tree and every project shown has the tutorial link in the description box by project number so you can see how to create it in all of the supplies that are needed. Now to all of my subscribers and visitors today, I want to say hey hey and that I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. Now if you missed part one, you definitely should check it out since I show over 80 different hacks and ideas and I will link that in the upper right hand corner of this video and also in the description box below. So now we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the shopping at the Dollar Tree. Now I'm starting on the home decor aisle. I see these hello signs. Now they have these in hello, gather, and a lot of other different things. But what I did with this hello one is I cut the hello out and I put it on a Dollar Tree sign that I use craft sticks on and I think it turned out adorable. I also took a different one with a home sign on it and I made this design replacing the background and added an outline. Now these glass jars are one of my favorite. I love the diamond pattern in these and these come in different colors, but since for my project I wanted to paint them, it really didn't matter what color I got them in, but I did paint them black and yeah, I used my stamping technique to highlight all of the texture and then added a leather ribbon. Now this glass vase is one of the cutest ones I've seen. It's very modern looking and they have different styles of the glass vases. And one of the favorite things that I love to do with these is I love to make a two-tone design. And I made this one with white and like a gray cement uh, mix at the bottom using some chalk paint and baking soda. Now these candles are really popular at the Dollar Tree. I see lots of people putting labels and Cricut designs on them, but one thing I wanted to do is make it interchangeable. So I created some sleeves with fabric and the chopping mats at Dollar Tree, and you can change these out with the seasons. Now I love these little baskets. They have these round oval baskets in black and white at the Dollar Tree. There's so many different things you can do with this. Now I use six of them to make this family organization station and a veggie rack. I love this using the Dollar Tree signs as well. And I also created a little basket to put on your bathroom countertop for all your little essentials as well. Now they also have these baskets in like a square or rectangular shape. They have these in black and white. You could definitely do the same type of design with that and making an organization rack. Now I did make one with a single panel and I put three baskets on there and I love this for organizi organizing your different fruit. Now these rectangular trays are really popular at the Dollar Tree. They have them in different colors. They have them in silver, gold, and I've even seen them in Buffalo Check. These have so many ways to customize them and to craft with. One of my favorite ways that I have used these is to make this a fireplace style lantern. Now, I used two of these trays to do this, one on the top and one on the bottom. And as you can see, this one single design can be changed out in so many ways by removing the top, adding the top, and even using the Dollar Tree chopping mats for a frosted look design on them. I just really love the versatility of this piece. Now I've also used these little clay pots as well and I've used these on the trays and these clay pots come in two different sizes and you could customize these easily. All I did was I actually stained some paint sticks, put it on the bottom of the tray and then I painted the pots to put on top with some beading and they look really cute. Now I also added some little floral bouquets to the pots as well using Christmas bulbs and Dollar Tree rose petals. And check out this little topiary. I got the little balls from the Dollar Tree and I used the little clay pots painted to make the two piece set. Now one of my favorite finds recently are these half barrel planters. These are really popular at the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love crafting with them. What I did is I used two of them. I made a two tier planter and the pole in between them is a Dollar Tree plunger handle. So that makes it super easy in an all Dollar Tree project. 
Now the all time favorite are these clothespins. The wood clothespins are so much fun to craft with. You can get them at Dollar Tree or even cheaper at some department stores, but you can also use them to make crafts such as this large tray trimmed out with the clothespins that are stained. Now I did find some hangers. Some people say they're unable to find hangers without the shoulder strap hook. They have them without them. So you're able to use the hangers in my hanger tray project, one of my original designs with the two trays and the ends of the hanger for supports. And you're also able to use this in my box DIY using the hanger legs as legs on these projects as well. They have thicker hangers as well. They come in a three pack. These are the heavy weight. Now they only have them in white, but these are easy to sand down and paint any color you want. Now I needed the heavy duty ones to make this a two piece shelf set. I just screwed the hangers into the back of the piece of stained wood for my project. Now don't skip the pet aisle for your crafts. These bowls are super cute. They have a buffalo check print on them. I think they're cute. I have an idea for these, but I did use the black pet bowls for a project recently. I made a three tier planter out of it here and I used one by twos to support the sides and I think this was absolutely fabulous. Now in the hardware aisle, they have these hooks. Now these are not just for your hardware, they could be for your crafts. Now I've used these to support a lot of the hanging items in my crafts. I use them to hang these little planter jars that I have here on this sign. And I also use them in this paint stick sign to hold my little planter jars. So don't skip out on those hooks. Now I love these little galvanized square pieces. These are a nice size for $1.25 and you're able to cut them and arrange them how you want to. And I just cut it into strips to cover the opening in this tumbling tower box that I created. And we've all seen these little pallets at the Dollar Tree. I love these little wood pallets. I think they're so fun in crafting, especially if you have a cutting machine. And what I did with mine is I made a pineapple design and put a family name on the pallets to make some really cute coasters. Now, if you see these six packs of wood planks, you want to grab those up. Every time my Dollar Tree gets them, they sell out. So I love to keep these on hand for projects. These are great for your Cricut and to make other projects as well. But what I did with this was I made a four piece sign with my Cricut and I made a we wish you a Merry Christmas, but you could customize any way that you like. Now, speaking of wood, they have this large wood plank piece. Now, when I saw this, I immediately thought of sconces. So what I did is I paired it up with some of these Dollar Tree small mason jars and I painted those in a matte black and painted the back piece for the sconce and I added a hook. I just think that these are super cute. I also painted the mason jars white and trimmed them out with Buffalo check to give a farmhouse look. I also made a Kirkland's dupe. Now I made a tray to look like the Kirkland's design and this was super fun and easy. And I also made a set for fall. I love this four piece set and you could change it out with any seasons by changing up the lettering and the florals. Now another thing in the wood section are these plaques. They have them in a square design. They also have them in a round design. Now this is a deal at $1.25. I haven't found them anywhere cheaper and I cut one to make two hanging sconces with a little shelf for those mason jars. And I also use them as risers. I added little feet that I got from Amazon and they worked perfectly on this to make a cute little riser for my decor. Now the foam board is another thing that I used to love to craft with all the time, but I can't skip out on it because I love, love, loved all the projects I made with it. So I made this little window decor piece and I love it. You can add a wreath to it and put it on display. I also made this beaded tray, believe it or not, the arches for this are layered foam board and this thing is super sturdy. I also made a two piece panel with the foam board and I used some of the Dollar Tree trash cans for the grating inside. 
And I've also made this arch beaded decor. I absolutely love this one. And this is also made with the foam board. Now I just want to pop in and let you know that the tutorials for all of these projects that I'm sharing today are in the description box by project number in the video. So be sure to make a note of your favorites. Now if you love high-end DIYs and projects, you can follow me on all of these platforms here. So now let's just get back into that shopping. Now some of these peel and stick tiles are so much fun to work with. Now I love these silver ones especially. I think that there's so much you can do with that in your crafting. And I picked up some of these and I made this two piece set here. I painted one and gave it a natural and rustic look here. I love the Moroccan style design. I also painted one with a black frame and I painted the tiles white and decorated them with black accents. And then I have one with a white frame that I actually put a rustic red outline on the design to give it a more of a farmhouse look. Now I did recently discover a brand new style of the tile. They did paint it white and they did highlight the accents. So I guess that the people have spoken and Dollar Tree listened. So I bought a couple and I made these covered containers and I think that they're super cute. Now I'm in the bakeware section in the kitchen aisle and bakeware is not just for baking. I actually love to craft with a lot of these. So I love to take the cookie sheet or the baking sheet and I like to couple it up with a, one of these brownie pans. I love the size of it. It's just a little bit smaller. And then finally I'll grab one of the square cake pans. Now when I join all of these together, this would make the perfect little square tray. And I made this tray a couple years ago. I absolutely love it. You just paint it white, add a little bit of enamel chipping design and I cut up a bed post to go down the center and it turned out so awesome. Now I love these bottles. These oil and vinegar bottles in the Dollar Tree are really, really neat to craft with. They have them without the design on them, which I really love. So it gives you more crafting possibilities. And so I took a couple of these and I made my own craft. I painted them white and I gave them a metal trim with some jute twine. And I love how these turned out with a little bit of greenery. Now I love these little bowls in a Dollar Tree. They have them in several different colors, but for this project, I chose to go with black because I'm going with more of a bohemian style decor. So I taped it off and I painted the bottom half with a wood grain accent and stacked them on top of each other. Or you can have them separately on candle stands filled with greenery and they're just as beautiful. Now there's lots of jars at Dollar Tree, but these have to be my favorite. These little square jars with the clear acrylic lids are so much fun. And I think that these are perfect for the bathroom. So I made some really cute Cricut labels to go on them for my bathroom decor. And margarita glasses are the perfect stand for lots of trays and designs, not just for margaritas, even though margaritas are a lot of fun. So what I did with mine is I turned it upside down and I placed a saucer on the top and stacked it up with a beautiful pile of lemons and added a bow. I think this is super cute. Now I recently did a DIY with these round glass cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. I love the size of these and plus you could customize these with your Cricut too if you like. But I created a candle stand along with this metal trim ribbon. I love this ribbon. I placed the ribbon around it, painted it and added some candlesticks for the base. And these make a beautiful set of candle stands. Now in the gift section, they have these large boxes. I love these boxes because they are super thick and sturdy. So that makes their crafting possibilities endless. So what I love to do with these boxes is a variety of things. I took a couple, I painted them with a really dull gray color to give them a cement look for this Pottery Barn dupe. I also made a four uh, shelf piece with the boxes and I used one by twos for the supports on the sides. And look, I went into the toy section and I found this little car. I love this little car. All I did with this car is paint it with a couple coats of matte spray paint. 
Now, when I let it dry, I added it to the staging area here. You can see the little car down there, but the lid of that tray, yes, it's the top of one of those gift boxes. So yes, you can use that for a lid. Now, if you see these puzzles at the Dollar Tree, you want to definitely grab these up. These are solid wood. So the possibilities of staining these and using these is endless. I added this little snow lettering to it from last year's Dollar Tree release. And I also customized it with my cutting machine to put some sayings on it and it worked perfect. I also used it for to make this little elephant. I think this elephant is super cute and this is a natural wood finish. Now in the party aisle, they have these princess headbands. Now if you can't find the metal ribbon, the headband of this would work perfect for your projects. Now if you add that to the back of one of your stained puzzles and add a little crate, you can make a planter and you can see the headband as the trim at the top. Now on into the toy section, they have some summer toys out. So I grabbed one of these bubble flying disc pieces. And when I saw this, I love the little hole pattern originally, but I decided to do something a little different for it in my DIY. What I did is added a mirror to it and I added some beading around it. Now I didn't glue the beading on. I used the holes to attach it with mate, which makes it completely removable, which is great. Now, when I saw these slingshots at the Dollar Tree, I immediately knew in my mind what I was going to do with these. I was just hoping that it worked out and I did create this beautiful modern style shelf with it using those slingshot pieces as legs. I love how this turned out. And these little ball pop toys, these are cute. I like the little basket on the top and I thought that that would make a great little holder. So what I did is I actually removed them, added them to a wood plank from the Dollar Tree and I painted them to make two beautiful sconces. Now, when I saw these baseball bats, I actually had a project in mind for this. I love the shape of it. It kind of looks like a wine bottle. So what I did is I created three different modern style vases with this. And as you can see, they turned out great with a little satin black paint. They look so high end and awesome. Now, I do hope this second video gave you more exciting ideas and inspiration and that you're ready to start creating some fabulous crafts as well. Now, if you have not already, be sure to check out part one with 80 different ideas to get you all started. Now, if you love shopping at Dollar Tree too, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what projects you're going to try. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to see all of my new content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.